What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Oftentimes when you're dieting and those cravings hit, those impulses to eat bad food can get out of control. So having easy, simple little hacks to make amazing food that'll fit right into your diet at your fingertips is ideal. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys one of these hacks to make stupid, simple, instant mozzarella sticks that are not only low calorie, loaded with protein, extra cheesy, but they'll also fit right into any diet and get you one step closer to that beach body this summer. And if you want all my diet hacks and recipes in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket. Don't forget, you can get my cookbook, which is available at the first link in the description box. Everything you gotta do start to finish is laid out, all the calories, protein, ingredients, what you gotta weigh out, everything is in here. Plus you get it one time, you get every future recipe I add for free. And I know deep down in my heart, if you follow what's in this book, you will see results no matter what. Link down below in my description. All right, ladies and gents, if y'all are ready for epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Don't you worry guys, I'm a man of my word. This is quite literally the easiest recipe we've ever had to make. We only need two ingredients and we only need a few minutes. The first ingredient we are gonna need is a pack of wonton wrappers. If you ever had a wonton at a Chinese joint, they're basically wrapped in this paper. One pack of these will last you a long time and it's fairly inexpensive, you'll find it in the refrigerated Asian section of your grocery store. And the next up, we need a pack of reduced fat mozzarella string cheese sticks. We're gonna save calories over going the full fat way, but we're not going completely fat free so we still get that rich, bubbly cheese flavor. Now I'm gonna show you how stupid simple this is. All right, check this out, guys. Even if you didn't have a brain and instead up there was a monkey banging cymbals together, you'll be able to figure this one out. We got six of our wonton wrappers. I got three of our reduced fat mozzarella cheese sticks and I got a tiny bowl for water. The first thing we're gonna do is take a knife and cut all of our mozzarella sticks in half right down the middle like so. Boom, and just like that. Now, this right here is the hardest part and it's even easy. So what we do, we take half of a mozzarella stick, you put it right here, leave a little lip at the end that you can fold over. We're gonna roll this up tight, corner to corner. Once we get to about here, and we got this little lip exposed, what I wanna do, kinda pinch these sides right here, find out where the end of that mozzarella stick is at. Then I'm gonna dip my fingers in a little bit of that water, and I wanna coat right here to make it adhesive. I wanna coat this right here to make it adhesive, and I wanna coat this side. Now I'm just gonna fold this side over, press it in, that water seals it right up. We're gonna do the same with the other side. If you notice it's not sealed as much as you want, you can get a little bit of water and just dab it right here, lock it into place. And then finally, I'm gonna finish rolling and presto, we got ourselves a sealed mozzarella stick. And at this point, it's just rinse, repeat. Grab the wrapper, place the cheese, leave the lip, fold up, get it to about right here. Pinch, apply your water, fold these sides in, seal them up, finish your roll, and bingo, another one down. Now I'm just gonna roll the rest of these up real quick and I'll be back when it's time to throw them in the air fryer. All right, folks, we got the mozzarella sticks that are all shaped, all formed, they're down in our air fryer basket. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of nonstick spray. I'm gonna give them a light coating. Then we just wanna cook these on 350 degrees, anywhere from seven to nine minutes. Nine's a little crispier, seven's a little softer. It's really up to you. You can flip them halfway, but I personally don't, and I think they're just fine. We'll start with eight and see how it turns out. And while we're waiting on those, I gotta show you guys the next best thing since peanut butter, which is Anna butter. We've essentially taken everything that makes Anna bar the best protein bar in the world and put it into a spread that is chunky and delicious. Look at that. There's actual cinnamon toast crunch and white chocolate down in there. Bottoms up. Mmm, that is hands down the best tasting spread on the market. We're gonna change that game the same way that we changed the protein bar game. So these are launching March 17th at 3 p.m. Central. So make sure you set an alarm and you're there. We have very limited quantity of these, so we're expecting to sell out probably in the first couple hours. And while you're waiting on that, if you wanna wet the palate with the best tasting protein bar on the market, 21 grams of protein, the Anna Bar is gonna have you covered. Visit FinalBossPerformance.com, use code RGF10 to save 10%. And I'm telling you, if you give it a shot, you're gonna love it. Anyways, back to the mozzarella.
And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. After just nine minutes, these are crispy on the outside. We got some cheese that's melted and bubbly. And as you can see, if we open it up, we got that melted cheese. And the best part is, we didn't have to deep fry anything or add a ton of unnecessary calories. And as much as I would love to sit and wax poetically about these mozzarella strips, they are cheese sticks, so we gotta eat them as fast as possible. So if you could for me, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and now let's try these guys out. Here we go. But before I bite into these, I gotta let you know that you can get a discount on youngla.com using code RJF, and that is gonna get you some of the best apparel in the game, like the Ultra Flex long sleeve that I'm wearing in this dark blue color, and I'm pairing it with their perfect cargo joggers. Literally, if you're trying to put together some cool outfits that can double as gym wear, going out to date wear, lounging around the house wear, it'll literally encompass all those things. If you want the best quality stuff, the stuff I wear every single day, then make sure you check them out. They have stuff for everybody, for your date night, for your workouts, you want a tank top, you want a button up long sleeve that fits really good, then make sure you check them out. YoungLA.com, use code RJF, you're gonna save money and you're gonna get some dope stuff at the exact same time, I guarantee it. All right, let me grab a mozzarella stick here. We got the crispy wrapper on the outside, you got the cheese that's kind of started to bubble out. Looks good enough to me. I also brought marinara sauce, but I don't think we need it. Three, two, one, let go. Whoever invented the original mozzarella stick is a genius. So if you think about it, cheese is a strange thing. Cheese just cold and by itself, take it or leave it for me. But melted cheese, I'd sell an organ in a back alley if this got scarce enough. But literally though, given how simple this is, you got the crispiness, you got the cheesiness, it literally just feels like a Japanese mozzarella stick. Which if we know anything about the Japanese, it is a culture of respect and delicious food. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, for all six mozzarella sticks, what we have for the whole thing is only 260 calories, eight grams of fat, at 22 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs with zero grams of fiber. That puts roughly each cheesy mozzarella stick at about 43 calories. Not too shabby, and I guarantee you look up any other mozzarella stick nutrition facts from anywhere, it's gonna be double, triple, maybe even quadruple the calories. And here we go, folks. That's the final bite. Let's get it. This recipe is shockingly easy, shockingly delicious, shockingly low calorie, and will surprisingly fit right into your diet. You gotta make this, it's too easy not to. If you end up doing that, sign me on Instagram, let me know what you think. And if you got my cookbook, it has been updated, so this is now in there along with every other recipe on the channel. I will say this is probably the easiest one out of all of them, but there's also quite a few that are comparatively easy and comparatively delicious. If whatever diet you've been doing hasn't been working for you, perhaps giving this a shot could make all the difference. Link down below. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button, comment anything down below subscribe if you're not subscribed and until next time ladies and gentlemen i'll teach every one of you with the next video see you guys bam 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 baby we out